Let's remember that Allah is not only the creator of all things, but also the one who will judge all things. This man became arrogant, claiming that his wealth and success would last forever, and he doubted the day of judgment. The world, as if you were a stranger or a traveler along a path. This hadith reminds us that life is temporary. All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Today we will reflect about the profound meaning of the verse of Surah Al-Fatiha. Maliki yawmiddin. Honor of the day of judgment. This verse emphasizes Allah's supreme authority over the day of judgment, reminding us of his dominion and our accountability in the hereafter. Let's explore its meanings. The word Malik comes from the root word Milk, meaning to own or to possess. It highlights Allah's absolute ownership of everything, including the Day of Judgment. This is the day when the all of the creation will stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the accountability. The term Yawmiddin refers to the Day of Judgment, this day when every soul will be judged and justice will be fully served. In several other parts of the Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasizes his ownership and control over the heaven, the earth, and everything in them. He is the ultimate judge of the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an, قُلِ اللَّهُمَّ مَالِكَ الْمُلْكِ تُؤْتِي الْمُلْكَ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتَنْزِعُ الْمُلْكَ مِمَّنْ تَشَاءُ this verse highlights that not only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala owns the day of judgment, but he owns all the dominions in this life and the next. He gives power and wealth to whomever he wills and takes it away as he wills. The day of judgment is a central theme in Islam where every individual will be judged based on their actions. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us of this day in multiple verses. يَوْمَئِذٍ تُحَدِّثُ أَخْبَارَهَا بِأَنَّ رَبَّكَ أَوْحَالَ On this day, every deed, big or small, will be accounted for. This verse reinforces the gravity of the Day of Judgment and Allah's complete knowledge of all that happens. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also said, Be in this world as if you were a stranger or a traveler along a path. This hadith reminds us that life is temporary and that the real journey is toward the hereafter. We must be conscious of our actions and remember that Allah is the ultimate power. A beautiful story from the Quran relates to the theme of Maliki Yawmiddin, honor of the Day of Judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala narrates the story of the two men, one of whom was blessed with a garden of fruits, wealth and luxury while the other had less, the wealthy man became arrogant, claiming that his wealth and success would last forever, and he doubted the day of judgment. He said, وَمَا أَظُنُّ السَّاعَةَ قَائِمَةً وَلَئِنْ رُدِدْتُ إِلَىٰ رَبِّي لَأَجِدَنَّ خَيْرًا مِنْهَا مُقَلَبًا His companion, who believed in Allah and the Day of Judgment, reminded him, لَكِنَّا هُوَ اللَّهُ رَبِّي وَلَا أُشْرِكُ بِرَبِّي أَحَدًا Soon after, Allah caused the rich man's garden to be destroyed, leaving him helpless. The story illustrates that no matter how wealthy or powerful someone might be in this life, they are ultimately subject to Allah's control. Allah owns everything, including the Day of Judgment, and those who are arrogant will be held accountable. Soon after, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused the rich man's garden to be destroyed. This powerful story serves as a reminder that our wealth, 
success and worldly possessions are temporary. What remains is our faith and our deeds for the day of judgment. When we say Maliki Yawmiddin in our prayers, it should remind us that every action we take will be accounted for and Allah is the first and the most just. No one will be wronged on the day of judgment. The wise man prepares for the day of judgment by seeking Allah's forgiveness and striving to do good deeds. فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَهُ وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًّا يَرَهُ So whoever does an autumn's weight of good will see it and whoever does an autumn's weight of bad will see it. Let's remember that Allah is not only the creator of all things but also the one who will judge all things. He owns the day of judgment and his justice will prevail. May we all prepare for that day by following Allah's guidance and seeking his mercy. Let's always remind ourselves of the gravity of the day of judgment and live our life in a manner that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمًا تُرْجَعُونَ فِيهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون. May Allah subhanahu wa taala make us among those who are successful in that day. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.